Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So this is gonna be a quick video discussing traits or passive skills in Pal World. And do note that as of the time I'm putting this together, the game isn't live. It will be live for you guys when I put this video out, but there is something I noticed and something I want you guys to keep in mind with regards to each individual Pal, even if they're of the same species. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of Suzaku, which is a uh, late, mid to late game uh, Firebird. Now, the main one I've been using has a trait called Ferocious. Now, Ferocious is... I just moved him away. Okay, we'll, we'll go to this one. He, he's got it. Okay, so Ferocious uh, increases the attack by 20%. And then this, this one I'm looking at here also has Blood of the Dragon, which increases dragon damage by 10%. Now, what's interesting about this ability... Or, or not the ability, rather. Sorry, the fact that... You know these suzaku have different um traits is that some of them are not positive so here we can see this one this one's rocking four traits blood of the dragon ferocious abnormal which increases uh, decreases incoming neutral damage and veil of darkness which increases dark damage you also have uh, some that have some bad traits like unstable its sanity drops quicker there's no benefit to this. Um, you can see that the yellow ones are tend to be the really good ones. Vanguard increases player attack, right? You have um, Artisan here, which increases work speed, so you might want to use that one in your base, etc. So what I would recommend is before you guys decide to, you know, commit to a single uh, pal, kind of like I did with just taking one that just had Ferocious, take a look at their at their abilities because they might have abilities that aren't necessarily beneficial. I've been, uh, I actually powered up this Anubis uh, in j just his work speed. And it turns out his he has an ability that makes his work speed worse. So that wasn't a good idea. So I made a mistake, so don't make that same mistake. Um, but, but yeah, guys, it's pretty much it for the video. Just pay attention to these pals. Now, I'm experimenting with the breeding system as of the time I'm putting this video together, and I'm trying to figure out exactly um how these traits can be affected by breeding i will let you guys know if i find any uh information on that in the future but for now guys just pay attention to your pals traits some of them got some good ones some of them got some bad ones and um yeah make sure you're just paying attention to everything because this game just gets more and more intricate as i play through it and this is something i didn't even realize until uh, what am I as of the time of recording this video I'm like 35 episodes into my let's play so yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you want more power world guides and uh, just a lot of power world contents coming we cover monster taming on this channel so any game that involves monster battling monster raising um, you know monster collecting this is a place to be subscribe to the channel join the community and we'll see you next time peace out